guys, it's Julia and welcome back to my channel. And for today's video, I'm going to be doing the Nintendo book tag. This was created by Sam from the channel Sam's Nonsense, so I'll have the links to her channel and her video down below, as well as I saw Jay from Captured in Words do this video, so I'll also have his links down below as well. I was not personally tagged by anybody, but I'm just going to be getting right on into the questions because... I'm going to be going with Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte and this is just there's so there's so many I could have chose like chose for this question but I thought I'd just choose Jane Eyre just because it's so extremely popular and it just I don't even know much about it but it's just so popular and it's just this is like so many people's favorite classic it has great ratings and I just really want to read a Charlotte Bronte book so yeah. Question, I'm going to be going with Stone Cold Touch by Jennifer L. Armentrout. This is the sequel to White Hot Kiss and this book was just a solid second book. Um, it had a huge twist, it had just so much going on, way more than the first book and it was just a real step up so I was really happy about that. Have Great Expectations by Charles Dickens. And more in the way that I look at people and like wealth and things like that is kind of what more what I mean with this one. But yeah, Great Expectations was just really insightful in the aspects that I said. But I also have The Merchant of Venice by William Shakespeare. And this one was really just, well, The Merchant of Venice was an amazing one. But also in the ways of wealth and anti-semitism and racism it just it gave me a whole new viewpoint that i didn't have before so yeah these two for this i have through the woods by emily carroll and this was beautiful in the way of art and like the art style but like the stories overall didn't impress me that much people said they were terrifying and they weren't terrifying for me and they were just kind of just mediocre and there's only like yeah it was it wasn't that great you know <laughs> but my answer would be salt to the sea by ruta sepetes and i just read this like not long ago at all and i absolutely loved it um this was like my first like real historical fiction book and i don't think i've ever like experience like again I've never experienced like historical fiction before at least I don't think and I adored this so much and it like pulled me right out of my slump it was lovely so yes so if I'm going to be talking about a series like a graphic novel series that would probably be a saga if I'm talking about a series, but I do have one individual graphic novel that I really like, so I'll show that to you, is uh, Blankets by Craig Thompson. And this is just really nice. It has like a really simplistic kind of art style that's all in black and white, but it's a memoir of his story and it's just really nice, especially if you read it, read it in the winter, which I would suggest reading it in the winter. And trust me, it looks big, but you'll just like fly through it. Like I flew through it in like an hour or two and it was great, like I loved it. with Damon from Obsidian. Just... Did he have to be there? Like, I, don't know, I just didn't like this book, to be honest. And like, I get why people like him, but I'm like, can he leave? He's kind of annoying. Can he, can he leave? You know? Oh. Because I don't have an answer, it was really hard for me to like think of something and I just couldn't. So, next question. gotten much into the sci-fi genre but I did really like Illuminae by Amy Kaufman and J. Kristoff. It's told, I'm sure you know what this is, and it was told, it's told in like files and documents and stuff and it's just really enjoyable and it was really interesting and it kind of motivated me to pick up more sci-fi which I never ended up doing but I hope I will sometime but yeah Illuminae was pretty awesome so if you're new to sci-fi this is like, this is, this was good, this was good. with the Penguin English Library editions but I've shown two of them already in this video but I'm gonna go with the Vintage Anchor Emblem Canada classics 
and at first I was like, when I saw these I thought nothing special, but like it has the title over here, it has the author this way, and then the pages are the same color as the actual book, and it's just so cool, and it looks so nice on a shelf, especially if you have rainbow shelves and you need like a certain color, <laughs> not that you need a certain color, but like, you know, they, there's a lot of colors, obviously, and I have another one that's purple, and they're just so pretty, I like them. Mr. Mercedes by Stephen King, Holly, Bill, Jerem, Brady, obviously. They're just so original and they're just so, I just love them all. So yeah, this one. <laughs> so that was the Nintendo book tag. Thank you guys all so much for watching. And I'm gonna tag Sajid from Books on My Social Life like usual, cause he's like one of the only booktube friends I have. So I'm gonna be tagging him. And if you guys wanna do this tag, then yeah, go ahead, do it, cool. And <laughs> let me know what you thought down below and some of your answers to these questions and some responses to my responses. And I'll see you guys soon with a new video. Bye.